Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can insert other files like Word files or Excel files or PDFs into a Word document. So first of all, I've got a blank document on the screen and I want to show you several ways of doing that. So first one is going to be insert, so I'm on the insert tab and object. So when you drop this arrow down, you've got two options. I want this one, object. Now this is a blank option, I don't want that. So create from file and then you have to browse for whatever you want to bring in. So first of all, I'll bring another Word document in. So let's say this one and I'm gonna display it as an icon and it come up, comes up like this. I can change the icon if I don't like that. Let's have a look at some of the ones. That's a prettier one, I think. So I'll click OK to that. And you can also link it to the file Let's just do that. So it says here what's going to insert an icon that represents the contents of the file. Changes to the source file will be reflected in your document. If I take that off, just inserts a link to the document. I'll click OK to that. You see what comes back. So if I double click on that, it should open that file and there it does. So I'll close that down. Control W to close that down. And then I'll just do another one. I'll do an Excel file. So if I go into object and create from file, browse. This time I'll just get a, an Excel file, but it will be, it'll just be the same sort of thing, an icon. I'll get this charting one and I'll display it as an icon. And it's come up with that. I don't want that icon. Yeah, there's not very good, they are not very good options in there. Now it normally comes up to an, with an Excel icon, so Maybe something has gone a bit wrong there. I'll go for a different file. Uh, for some reason, I've got two of those files, and that's probably why, so I'll pick that one. There we go. Happy teddy bear. And again, you can change the icon to be whatever one you want. I'll do, go for that one. And OK. So that should just drop the link in, and then you can double-click on that, and it should open up that file in Excel. Close that one down. I don't save any changes, not that I made any changes. So let me just get uh, a new one. So let's see what happens if you insert a document that isn't an icon. So object again, create from file, browse, get the same thing. So I'll go for examples, word first of all, and I'll pick a line. This time I'm leaving it all blank. Inserts the contents of the file into your document. OK, see what happens here. So there's that file again. But this time, if you notice, this is inside a box. This is an embedded object. So if I double click it, it opens the source file. Close that down. So it isn't actually text in this file. So you've got to bear that in mind. And obviously, if the source file gets deleted, this would then not work if you double clicked on it. Just get rid of that one. Now, what happens when you bring an Excel file in like that? If we go to Object, Create from file, browse, go get a file. Let's have a look. We'll go for this one. Again, I'm leaving all that blank. OK. And obviously, it's very difficult to get an Excel file to fit into a Word document. And here you go. You've got an object which you can resize. And there, there we've got it. Same sort of thing. It's inside this little box. And I didn't have it ticked to link. Um, so when you double click on this, it will open that file. I'll close that down and I'll delete that. So they're all different ways of bringing in um, objects, in this case, Word documents. So you could have some narrative, you know, if I've got some narrative on here, I'm not sure if I have. Yes, I have. So there's some narrative and then you might want this to be a reference point. It could be like um, health and safety issues that you want people to look at. This could be budget figures, it's part of this document and it's all building up a, a story as you create your document. Now there are other ways that you can do similar sort of things. So for example, if I go into Excel and let's say I want these two things again, but I want them slightly different. Not coming in as a object as such, but using the paste special. So if I copy this, copy, come into Word and just stick this down here, but I want to go back to the Home tab and use paste special and then paste link so this is a linked document these are just different formats 
going to use the top one that's the key there paste link okay drops it in nice and neat and I press enter on that I'll go get the the graph as well I do exactly the same on the graph so clicking on the graph right click copy copy the graph coming back into word and make sure I'm, I'm already there so paste special again paste link is what I need and that's the top option I'm going to pick okay so both these are now linked I'll need to resize this graph a little bit so now they're not all in one big box like before but they are still uh, in your document and in this case I've got them linked so um, I didn't do that on the objects but I could have done but I've got this link to this I don't know why I'm lining that up so any changes in the Word document, so I'm going to go and change this in the Excel document, should I say, the source document. I'm going to change that. So if I go back into charting and delete that, I'm going to go back into Word. Nothing's updated yet, but if I save this file and reopen it, it would update. But if I want to update fields, I can just press the F9 function key and that has updated. And I'm going to have to do that on that one as well. So that updates it. So I could have saved the file and reopened it and it would have updated links and that would have reflected that. So you can see that that is now an updated link and you can do the same sort of thing with lots of different programs. So if I open a another Word document, for example, I'll go back up into examples, Word, open up um, border, I don't know what that is, but, and then copy this paragraph, control C, Come back into my document, use the paste special feature, paste special, paste link, word document object. So you see the object symbol there. Now if I go back into border and let's just do something to this. Let's make that bold. Eh? So I've made that bold. Come back into this document and then I'm going to have to F9 that again to update it and you can see that that updates as well so wh whichever method you use it's totally up to you some this is a tidy method obviously but sometimes people don't notice these documents especially um, if you click in if you're printing these off you obviously can't click a printed document so this only works this system here this one and this one only works for online documents or documents that's on the PC all the rest would work though so if you updated this save this file that we're in now and then printed it off it would update fields so that would work so that's probably a better safer way and so would this but anyhow it's just a quick look at how you can bring other documents into a word document such as other excel files other word documents and even and pdfs as well it's not just excel and word you can bring in or you can use paste special paste link which is what i've just done there on these three so hopefully that was of use to you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.